Good evening, Shadow Mountain friends. I had a question today about flower pot swarm traps. So I'm going to give you a quick spiel about flower pot swarm traps. Um, and uh, don't mind my messy garage. I've been in the middle of uh, uh, beekeeping stuff, and it's a disaster in here. So what you're looking at here, this is a Man Lake swarm pot. So this is a custom, or not custom, but this is a design specifically for uh, bees. Um, from Man Lake retails for $26.95. Um, it is a fiber material, um, like a recycled flower pot, that comes with this preformed lid. Um, what I did is I added this, these boards to it and I strapped it to a tree last year. Um, I had five of them last year and out of the five traps, one trap caught two separate swarms and another trap caught another swarm and then the other three were not successful. Um, so I got three swarms out of five traps. Um, if you take it apart here, what you'll see is there's the lid and here's the interior of the trap. So that would have been the top. This one did catch a swarm and that's the cutout. Um, that's the remains of the wax from when I cut out the bees. A couple things to notice about this trap. It has a big hole in the end right here. Um, and I have trouble with some kind of animal, probably a squirrel, chewing out the hole. So I added these wires and that's you know hopefully to try to keep the squirrel from messing with it. So this was last year, this is my last year's pot. This would be a good pot to still put up this year because it does smell like bees, it's had bees in it. Um, but I've come up with a better solution. So if you'll follow me around here to the, around some of the stuff here. These are fiber flower pots. Um, so these I bought online. Um, they're a little bit larger. Um, I'll grab one here and compare, to, compare it to the uh, Man Lake pot. So this is a flower pot. This was $5, but I had to buy uh, in chunks of 14 of them. And then here is your Man Lake flower pot in comparison. I'll try to pull this way back here so you can see. So the uh, this flower pot, the second one, is just a little bit deeper. Um, about about the same diameter but a little bit longer and deeper um, i know in the video it doesn't look like they're much difference but there is quite a difference in size and the advantage of a bigger pot is bigger space bigger swarm so how i set this up is i take this pot and i screw in a piece of brood comb so it's not a whole frame it's just a piece um, i cut up a frame you can kind of see the tab of the frame there and I put one screw in it and I hung it from the top. So then the bees will take that and they'll draw out a line of comb and then they'll go side to side just like they did in this pot. This pot originally started out with a piece of brood comb as well. Um, so then I'll take that pot because it does not come with this custom back here. I will take that pot and I will screw it to a board like this. So you'll see this is a painted board, but there's a circle um, that's not painted. That's the interior of where the, the, the pot goes. Um, and then I will take a pot, um, like one of these. Now you'll notice here, here, and here, um, those are places that those were drain holes for flowers that I filled with spray expanding foam and then just painted to make it a little bit uh, less uh, unsightly. I sawed off the, the uh, blown up foam. Uh, drill the hole and uh, you can see the foam expanding foam inside the pot there um, and then you can see the board that it's attached to and one thing that I do on these pots now is I take a piece of plywood or a board not real big and I drill the same size hole in it and I paint it and I screw it right there and that's just because again I had an issue with squirrels chewing holes out um, of the pot and, and tearing up the pots um, and so then once it's all done, you'll have a swarm trap that looks like this. Um, just screw the pot to the board. Um, you've got your hole right there to hang on a nail. And you hang it up in a tree and you try to face it south-southeast. Uh, and hopefully bees will move in. Now the advantage to this swarm pot is it's cheap, it's fast, uh, it's light. Um, and you can hang them up in a tree, make a bunch of them, and get them all around town. There are disadvantages to the swarm pot. The disadvantage is that once the bees move in, you have to cut them out and, and relocate them to frames in a box. 
Um, so there are a different type of swarm trap um, where you take a brood box or a nuke box and you actually hang it in the tree. Um, and when the bees move in, they're moving straight into the frames. The disadvantage to those is they are heavier, a little more awkward to deal with. Um, and of course, they're more expensive. You're using actual beekeeping equipment. Um, you know, a, a, a hive body costs you $16 um, plus, you know, 10 frames or, you know, roughly two bucks a frame by the time you put the foundation in them. Um, so you're looking at almost $40 a trap um, when it's all said and done. Um, whereas here, I actually got the plywood from a neighbor. He just gave it to me. I asked anybody who had some spare plywood. I've got a $5 pot and one-fifth of a brood frame. I also put a Ziploc baggie in there with a cotton ball with lemongrass oil in it. Um, leave the Ziploc baggie open, and that lemongrass oil will um, be smelled out by the bees. So that is the flower pot swarm trap. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and happy hunting.